Mr. Pritam Singh. Chairman, discussion about the Singapore Flight Information Region has come under the spotlight again, and in recent times, particularly with Malaysia's intention to impose a military training area above Pase Gudang, including its announcement to, I quote, take back, unquote, parts of the Singapore FIR from our management. Some quarters in Indonesia have similarly lobbied to reclaim sovereignty of the Singapore FIR over the Riau Islands for several years now. So FIR management is fundamentally about providing smooth and efficient air traffic control services with aviation safety being the topmost consideration, not sovereignty. Singapore has been known internationally to manage its FIR efficiently and impartially. Realigning parts of the Singapore FIR to mirror territorial boundaries would risk creating a severely fragmented airspace around Singapore with serious aviation safety risks for all users. With six airports, including international airports in Johor, Batam and Bintan within 50 nautical miles of Singapore, a fragmented FIR will, risk, will raise the risk of mishaps and accidents. How does the Ministry currently manage flights bound, and bound for international airports in close proximity to Singapore, both inbound and outbound? And have our neighbours raised any issues with our management of the Singapore FIR thus far? I would also like to seek an update on the Ministry's initiatives to better manage our airspace. Some years ago, the Centre of Excellence for Air Traffic Management Fund of two, uh, some, I beg, I'll say that again. Some years ago, a Centre of Excellence Air Traffic Management Fund of $200 million was set up. What has been the drawdown rate of this fund and what other measures does the government have lined up to ensure that Singapore maintains its status as a premier FIR manager? What has been the government's experience working together with the UN Weather Agency, the World Meteorological Organization, since, it, since its establishment in Singapore in 2017, in benefiting the weather-sensitive aviation sector towards aviation safety? Finally, can the Ministry provide an update on the use of space-based very high-frequency communications for air traffic management in the Singapore FIR? Thank you.